Hello, Uggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. This question is from Mario, KJ7Z Yankee India from Emmett, Ohio. And his question has to do with the metal building that he has. Uh, he has a fairly large metal building and wants to use the roof as a kind of a ground plane for it. And he's wondering if modeling uh, his equipment as being at level on the ground over seawater ground will um, in any way affect the outcome. The answer is yes. This is not a seawater type equivalency. This is a metal which serves as a good radial field. Uh, you might want to go up and make sure there's an electrical connection between all the uh, this, this let's see, is it stainless steel? It's probably stainless steel. Okay. Um, what happens to the radiation pattern when bounced off the roof that is a 30 degree downward surface? It will pull the radiation down on those two sides and up on the other. The way you want to model this, now the way NEC models uh, something like this is as a series of wires. In NEC2, National Electromagnetic Code number two, you cannot model um, metal slabs or metal uh, pieces like uh, roofing, something like that. It only works as wires. Um, you could, if you wanted to spend the time, create a mesh. Um, however, each, you know, maybe each mesh is about this size, but then, of course, you've got to propagate that over the entire roof. I think I would just put in good ground. Uh, NEC does not handle ground other than flat ground and so on. So you'd need to model it almost as though it's just a series of radials. Now, you asked about a, a two meter antenna, which would be 19 inches high with four downward directed radials. The reason you direct them downward is as a ploy to get the impedance to go up. Uh, because if you have them out flat for a vertical antenna, the impedance is something on the order of 30 ohms at the feed point. But if you bring them down like this, you're starting to raise the impedance of the antenna a little bit. It's compromised in either case. An antenna like that, mounted, say, on a five-foot mast on top of your roof, is going to operate pretty much like any vertical. Uh, the roof is going to affect it somewhat because remember the first rule of antennas is that everything affects everything. So you could try putting it there and see if that works for you. As far as the 10 meter antenna, it sounds like you've got a vertical with some sort of a little quasi radial system at the bottom. You can extend those radials. Um, I would put it up on a mast say four or five feet above the top of the roof and I think you will find that it will work pretty well. Uh, now one of the problems with all that metal up there is the instant you put it in it starts corroding and uh, metal to metal is a good uh, low resistance connection but as soon as you get any kind of iron oxide from a steel roof or even aluminum oxide from an aluminum roof um, it will cause the uh, ohmic resistance between them to go up. So what some people do is from one to the other, they'll attach a little bolt, a little bolt here and put a piece of wire across it and uh, tighten it down good, which helps short all of those uh, pieces of metal to each other, which will help a little bit. Now I know aircraft, um, in fact, I was on a Boeing aircraft many years ago uh, where they got grounded because uh, there was, they had lost the metal-to-metal -metal contact on some of the panels of the airplane. And as the air went over it, it started creating static in the HF radio and they couldn't use it. 
uh, I didn't know why they needed an HF radio over uh, the middle of the United States since it's all VHF there. But, but I think the pilots were looking for an excuse to take some time off. So uh, the bottom line here is you certainly uh, can do this, and I think you'll have good luck with it. I think it will work uh, well for you. I think trying to actually model that uh, steel roof could be a real issue. You could model it as just a very, very high number of radials, and it is possible in uh, NEC you can elevate an antenna to have one element like this and then have the radials come down in different directions because of the uh, relative flatness of the roof slabs and try that. I don't know that it will give you much difference, but there will be a subtle effect in the propagation. So I hope that helps answer your question. Any of you who would like to help support this channel, please go to patreon.com slash ke0og and pick a method that works for you. If you'd like to give just a one-time donation, you can go to decastlercom slash tip hyphen jar. So until we next meet, 73.